Hi, my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at some tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2014 and specifically we'll be taking a look at some of the design rules that we can activate inside of Schematic 2D. So let's take a look here. If we go to our project tab and activate the design rules check, we get this pop up here. And if we go to the add button, we can go ahead and take a look at some of the uh, different design rule checks that SOLIDWORKS Electrical comes with out of the box. Let's go with this uncabling pins option. This is uh, the plain English description is component terminals not connected. And what this is going to do is check to see if any of the component symbols in our schematics uh, don't have wires uh, attached to them. So let's go ahead and, and check that on and say okay. And uh, let's generate the drawing for this for our first book and say okay. A new drawing appears here in the list. We have these uncabling pins. And if we take a look here at the list, what it shows us is the actual terminal uh, and the symbol that is not connected. And then uh, if it can find it, the drawing where we can go ahead and locate that. So uh, what we can do in here is we can say, okay, well this B1, uh, these unconnected pins B1, let's go ahead and find that one. So if we go into our component list and search for our component B1, there it is. And then we can actually go to where it's located in our schematic. If we take a look here, we can see that it's got some cabling information associated with it, but clearly uh, it's not being hooked up. So let's go ahead and take a look what's going on here. Ah, here's the problem. It looks like it didn't understand that uh, these circuits are actually the same one. It didn't match them up because the manufacturer part and the circuit type that we're trying to hook it up to are not exactly the same. But we're going to go ahead and override that and just drag and drop these one on top of the other. And we're going to uh, continue and just ignore this and say, yes, we, we want this. And we'll delete this virtual circuit since we don't need it. When we say okay to that, you'll notice that it loses its association to that cable. But we can fix that if we go ahead and right click and go to associate cable cores. We can find that cable. Um, if we look here on the list, it looks like that's a W11 cable. There it is. And if we expand that out, you'll see that uh, it doesn't seem to have this origin destination information anymore because it lost that reference. So what we'll do is just disassociate these cable cores from any previous uh, associations. And then the next step is to go ahead and grab the uh, black wire there, or excuse me, the blue wire, and the wire that we currently have drawn and associate and say okay. And we've added that one back and we'll repeat the process for this side. Now that we've reassociated those, um, if we go back to our uncabling pins report here, we still see that. If we update this, they should go away. Uh, and as you can see, that uh, B1 specific connections disappeared. And this is just letting us know that the line diagram still has uh, a, a uh, ident identified as not being connected, but it just doesn't understand that uh, the other end of the wire that's hooked up to it. So nothing to worry about there. If we see this minus sign, this is just a line diagram symbol, no need to, to worry about it. Um, this B2, we could repeat that same process, but uh, to show you how we could continue uh, using this is now we've, we've performed that uh, schematic portion. We know that it's wired up. Let's switch our gears over into 3D here, and uh, let's go ahead and wire that up. Let's go ahead and find that component uh, here in the tree. We know that it's in L4, other conveyors, and we can go ahead and find that B1 sensor. There it is. And what we'll do is expand this out and zoom to it. There it is. And our next step is to go ahead and route the cables. If we go up here to route cables, and we'll do selected components, there's our B1 sensor, and we'll do a full 3D route. And now if we go back to our cabinet, we'll just remove that accidental selection there. And if we uh, take a look at the schematic, remember we can access these directly from this uh, pane here in 3D. We can take a look at that schematic and find uh, where that B1 sensor is located uh, here in the uh, terminal strip that it's hooked up to. So if we take a look at our drawing and zoom in, it looks like it's X3 terminals 1 and 2. So if we zoom in here, find our X3 terminal. There it is, and one and two, and hit the OK button. And 
And now SolidWorks is going to go ahead and route that cable using the schematics. And because we made sure that we defined those individual connection points there in the schematic, it should have no problem uh, routing that cable through the three-dimensional model. And just that fast, we've got our finished cable routed here. And you can see the individual cores are hooked up to our terminal strips here. As, as we zoom in, we can see those connections. And then they join up into a singular cable that then goes into our ducting. And we can actually go now and uh, find this thing all the way out to our sensor. So that's using the design rule check for uh, finding any components or symbols in your project that don't have wires attached to them and how you might use it to go ahead and finish work in the model that you didn't know you had to do. Um, for any more tips and tricks like this, go ahead and check back for continued coverage of our different design rule checks in SolidWorks Electrical.